the, the reason I became a lawyer was in the eighth grade, I felt uh, by going to church, I felt like I had been called to be a preacher and I was too shy to publicly speak like a preacher did. So I joined the high school debate program just to get over my shyness. And high school debate was really a, a wonderful thing for me because it taught me how to argue both sides of the question because you had to do that in high school debate. And I learned, you know, that sometimes you get the the good question or the good side and other times you didn't, but you had to deal with the the cards that you were dealt. And I learned how to advocate the best that I could. And, and I quickly decided that the law was for me. My work in the community began really about 21 years ago. I lost my firstborn son to opioid addiction uh, 21 years ago. And shortly after that, I spoke to the very first young person. It was one of my daughter's uh, boyfriends. He had an addiction problem. And he told me that talking to him helped change his life. So uh, that's when I really began getting heavily involved in nonprofit work. I formed a nonprofit called FATE, Fighting Addiction Through Education. And I do a lot of work on the side, helping people all over the state and in some cases the country. I'm on the board of directors of Shatterproof, which is the leading national organization to help educate and eventually find a way to to appropriately deal with addiction. Also, I'm on a couple of other addiction related nonprofits. Uh, I'm a co-founder of the state of the art addiction treatment facility in Oklahoma called Arcadia Trails. Those are a couple of examples. There's there's more. I, I don't have any uh, hobbies like golf or playing cards. Really, my hobby is doing nonprofit work in the community. 